Goeie avond. Bonsoir, Congo. Um, hello from uh, Eindhoven and uh, from the Van Aver Museum. Um, it's a, a real pleasure for me to introduce very briefly uh, the film that we're going to see tonight in a, in a kind of live a broadcast experiment, experiment at least for us. It's been done a number of other occasions, but I'm delighted that the Van Aver Museum could be the first museum in, uh, in the Netherlands to screen um, this important uh, film. Um, before we, we start, I wanted to um, say a little bit about our uh, engagement with the film and, and maybe set up the discussion that we're going to have uh, with Renzo Seda uh, in, uh, in a few, uh, in an, an hour and a half's time, um, uh, when the film is all fresh in your minds, and I think that will be a sort of important moment. Um, uh, so the, uh, the, the, the film itself has been about... Uh, I think almost 10 years in the making. I know that the, the previous film, which really started uh, Renzo's um, project and engagement in the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, which was called Enjoy Poverty, was released in 2008 and obviously was worked on a few years before. Um, but since that time, and really um, as an influence of that experience, I think, um, uh, Renzo has been working uh, very intensively um, on uh, uh, the questions that I suppose many of us who are engaged in the field of culture and the field of politics try to think about in different ways, but essentially they're similar questions. Um, and I think what, what Renzo has been asking is how is it possible for us to engage in a kind of ethical politics between places that were colonized and places that colonized, between North and South, um, the global north and the global south, um, between um, communities that have uh, little connection with each other um, and that are dominated by power relations which go back um, to, let's say, to Columbus in 1492, um, to, uh, to an idea of the world which was created and shaped by white male Europeans. Um, and yet to which, uh, in many sense, much of the world is, is subject to in one way or another, even though there are other, other ways of thinking, other knowledge systems that are out in the world um, that, are, that are perhaps more appropriate today than that Western knowledge system that uh, most of us have experienced in one way or another. And so this question of how to engage really became the, I suppose, the leitmotif for the project and how he developed um, the project uh, with many other people and with many collaborators over the past almost 10 years. Um, what you see is him establishing something called the Institute of Human Activities, which we um, are later uh, going to be introduced to in the film. Um, and through that, uh, developing through many slips, through many failures, um, through many uh, sort of narratives of, of understanding, uh, in a certain sense, his own impotence. Um, which is, is, I think, something that's probably quite good in a certain way for white men to discover, yeah? um, that, that through that process, um, he ends up in a, in a situation where, um, where he the, the starts to work together with a group, with a community from Congo. That's a community that we're going to meet in the film. And later, we're going to be able to talk to one of the representatives who you actually see in the film, Seda. Um, and I think that will be a, you know, an opportunity for, for us to, to, to discover um, what, what the, the situation, what this engagement means for, for both sides. And I'm happy to say that Renzo is going to moderate the discussion, so uh, he's also going to be uh, asking uh, questions as well as answering them. And that's maybe important for, for um, us to, to understand uh, his, what, his interest in it, to understand the, the, the artistic position within this, this whole project. Um, so I think that the, if we if we bear in mind when we see the film a number of of questions related to the 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 the, the possibility of whether exchange between North and South is possible in these terms, how that exchange is set up, how it transforms itself in the narrative. I think it's very important to um, I've had the pleasure of seeing the film. It's very important to look at the the narrative trajectory of the film, like what happens to Renzo, what happens to uh, the characters in the film, the characters that we get to know in the film through the, the, the one and a half hours. Um, because there, there is, I mean, I suspect, and we'll hopefully talk about this, quite a transformation in the positions of the various characters from the beginning to the end. And that transformation is really the film itself. That, that, that's, that's what happens in the film, but also why the film, I believe, is so important. Um, 
I was ha happy to be able to, as, as the Van Ava Museum, as, as, as this institution, uh, I was happy with my colleagues to be able to, uh, to support the film at an early stage. But I have to say, it's, it's gone through so many transformations that there was no real understanding when we first supported it uh, about what would actually be, uh, um, uh, in the end, coming into our collection. This film is part of the museum collection now. Um, uh, and so, uh, in that sense, this, this journey is one that, uh, you know, at a distance and in a, in, a, in a very partial way, I followed as well. And I think it's a fascinating uh, process of... Uh, self-discovery as well as discovery um, and also of, of a, a, um, a sort of idea of where when the when the the right to speak and how to speak shifts and what happens there and that's surely what we should be looking at in our current situation in the world how do we allow other people to speak and how do we learn to stop speaking I'm talking here as a white male westerner in, you know, with my DNA and my system of, uh, of understanding, at least how I was brought up, which I'm trying to break, but not very successfully. Um, so, so that process, I think, is really laid bare in the film. And that's something I'd like to talk about. But I also want to draw your attention to it before it starts, because I think that sets up um, what you're going to see in an interesting way. It's, it's not so much the, the narrative that I want to tell. I think you're going to follow that. And it's beautifully made as a film. Yeah? The, the narrative is, is really very clear and, and understandable, I think. Um, but at the same time, it's this, it's this relationship that the characters have with the, with the, with the possibility to speak with the possibility to speak and, and in, in, in speaking what they say and what is different about what each of them says that I think is very important. Um, so with that in our, in our minds um, and with the expectation that we're going to meet the, the filmmaker and one of the stars of the film uh, after the screening, I'd like to uh, hand over to my colleagues who are going to show you the film now, which as I say lasts, I think it's 79 minutes, that's, that's one hour and 19 minutes, and then we'll be back immediately afterwards with a conversation of around half an hour to three quarters of an hour. Thanks very much indeed. Goodbye. Nazaraki, Nabumwana Nangana za Mutumuko Yabahev. Doto, Zinga Zinga, Zope Semela des gens, et Zope Promettre. Bissemo la Bissemo! Bissemo la Bissemo! Lusango et Koufa, et Zaraki, les verres vire. Les verres vides. Pour mon monde, il y a un problème. Voilà, si William les verres est un peu plus de sous, il y a un peu de sous. 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 Il y a un peu de William Lever, Azali capitaliste, Azali colonisateur, Azali Peli Soussou, Moko Oyo, a bloqué bénéfice quelque part pour les gens Oh, bonjour, Biteki, bonjour, bonjour, Biteki, bonjour, Biteki, bonjour. Ah, oui, c'est de Richesse accumulée au Congo, finance. Les Européens. Cela veut dire que les inégalités survivent à travers les musées européens. Tous les quatre coins à Congo Foto Kangango Boui. Back. Post plantation, post plantation, post plantation. So what give?
Uh, hello, uh, and hello also from Renzo on my phone. Um, uh, we are now live, Renzo, just to clarify. We had problems connecting with Kinshasa, uh, so Renzo can do it by WhatsApp. So we're now in, uh, in this situation. Um, but Renzo is going to do a, um, an amazing job of uh, via the WhatsApp trying to, uh, trying to moderate the, our discussion. Uh, and have a little bit. So, that is correct. firstly, thanks very much for everybody that listened. We've got uh, about 150 people uh, watching the the film to, uh, tonight, and uh, it's, I'm really happy that uh, everyone could join us. Um, and I think Renzo, I'm going to hand it over to you because instead of being the person uh, answering, you're going to be asking the questions today. And maybe that you can you can introduce uh, um, uh, us actually. <laughs> Great. And Charles, just to be sure, uh, do people also see me, or do they only hear me? They see you on my uh, on my phone. Ah, okay, great. I have to hold it that side. So, um, everybody who, who logged in to, um, uh, to tonight's event, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I was um, I'm in Kinshasa, and I was kept at the airport for uh, 20 hours because some officials claimed that my visa was not. Um, um, in order and then it was in order anyway but 20 hours later and um, I, I just rushed into an office of René Ngongo um, who you have seen in the film the president of the Cercle d'Art des Travailleurs de Plantation Congolaise uh, and I can't get uh, my team's app working so I'm happy to join you through WhatsApp. Um, I'm really delighted once again that you all joined and I also especially want to thank the Van Abbe Museum uh, in general but also in particular uh, the director of the Van Abbe Museum, Charles Escher, to be with us tonight. Um, uh, Charles is not only the director of, uh, of this museum, he's also a scholar and a critic and a professor um, uh, thinking through how the art world can be de demodernized and I'm sure he will be able to speak about that uh, later. Um, I'm also very, very happy to introduce to you Cédar Tamasala, who is a member of the Cercle d'Art de Travailleurs de Plantation Congolaise, so CATBC, and he's also the vice president, even if he doesn't like um, so much the, the hierarchies of, uh, of, of these titles, he's also the vice president of CATBC. Uh, so, uh, Cédar Tamasara um, is joining us together with Eleonore Helio, uh, who is also in uh, Lusanga. Um, uh, Lusanga, that is the former Unilever plantation of Lieberville that you have seen so much in the film. Uh, and Eleonore Helio is an artist, she's uh, uh, part of Congo Astronauts, uh, which is a cooperative, a collective in uh, Kinshasa, together with Michel Ikeba, and Eleonore and Michel have been um, working with CATBC since 2014, and uh, Nor will uh, translate tonight for Sedar. I also want to say that Sedar has spoken previously at a number of events, including Yale University, the Mori Art Museum, um, um, and Kunstwerk in Berlin, and of course many, many times at uh, the White Cube in Lusanga. So, if you will, these are the, the, the two main uh, speakers tonight, Sedan and Charles, and I will try and simply ask a few questions, um, because this is in a way a unique moment. We have somebody who grew up on plantations, who is part of a cooperative of plantation workers, and we have somebody uh, who directs the museum, uh, the Van Abbe Museum. And so my first question uh, would be to um, um, to Charles, uh, Charles Escher. Um, there is a big movement for many years, but it's becoming more and more prominent for museums to decolonize, uh, to become inclusive and diverse. And I would like to ask brief questions, really brief answers also, in what way the Van Abbe Museum is taking on this challenge, what the challenge is and how it is taking this on to decolonize as a museum. Yes. Yeah, I think th thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Renzo. I mean, I think it's a it's a really complicated question because I think you have to start with um, uh, with the the fact that, for instance, the Van Abbe Museum is is entire its existence 
is entirely thanks to the colonial system, the, the colonial matrix of power, if you like. So we, the money that, that was made by uh, the plantations of tobacco in Indonesia is the money that was made by Henri van Abbe, who was the founder of the museum as a private initiative before the Second World War. The museum opened in 1936. Um, and so at that time, it was not Indonesia, it was, it was the Dutch East Indies. And, and uh, we, um, we have, uh, um, uh, we had uh, the, the, almost everything that we rely on is, um, is connected to, uh, to that origin, yeah, that origin in, in, uh, in the plantations in Indonesia. So the question of decolonizing is, uh, you know, to some extent, you could say, well, we shouldn't even exist at all, because to decolonize might, you imagine me, to go back. But I think the interesting possibility that, that decolonizing offers is not so much this idea of returning to some sort of orig original situation before Columbus set sail, sail in 1492, but rather to think about from today's position, how can we think in ways which are not determined and controlled by the, the sort of geometric forms, if you like, that, that colonialism created for us, the separations. And that's why I often talk about demodernizing as an element for us in the West of decolonizing, because I think that the modern system, how we think in the modern system, the separation of disciplines, even the idea of modernism within the arts, which this museum is dedicated to, this all has its origins in the modern colonial system, which is one and the same in many ways. So therefore to decolonize for us is really to demodernize. And I think in that sense, it means not so much building relationships with, uh, with the global south. I think that that would happen anyway, whether you decolonized or not, because we're living in a situation where those conversations are happening. But for us, it's to really, um, in a sense, reshape the archive of our knowledge that goes back, in our case, for instance, the Museum of Modern Art in New York in the 1920s, and to reshape it so that it takes account of these legacies, of the colonial legacy, of the colonial history. And that means telling a completely different story from the one that we uh, from the one that we that we have always told about the development of modern art. And I think that's the, the, that's for us one of the major uh, major elements of how we can decolonize. In the end, I hope in twenty or thirty years that story of the modern art will seem as archaic as the the, the, the ac academy uh, did to the the impressionists after they were successful or so i think you know there's an arch yes. a modern art is itself an archaic form and that 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 needs to be uh, that needs to be established i think by all of us great thank you charles um, so if i understand it right the, the, the main thing is you want to understand where you're coming from um, and uh, it will shape hopefully uh, not specifically new relations with the global south because this will happen anyway you say mm -hmm. but it's also reshaping uh, the archives of knowledge reshaping what art can be at all within the museum so so it, it's not about adding the global south to the wonderful narrative of western supremacy white supremacy let's right. say it's about fundamentally changing that story so that the idea of modern art itself is something that's um, either seen as something as i say archaic and locked up within the colonial time or it's completely remade so that it no longer has the same story i think you know there are a number of options we can do but um i think for us in our recent exhibitions in the museum, it's been about saying goodbye to modern art. Yes. Um, so my second question would be to Cedar Tamasana. Uh, I already introduced, uh, introduced uh, Cedar. Uh, Cedar, est-ce que vous m'entendez? Oui. 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 Très bien. Okay. Très bien. Parlez fort, s'il vous plaît. Please speak loudly. Uh, sinon, je vous entends pas. Um, donc, mm. Charles just spoke about how he thinks museums can decolonize, but he also said something very important. He said the Van Abbe Museum has been uh, historically uh, linked to colonialism. Some of the uh, um, uh, money that was needed to build the museum was taken from plantations, from tobacco plantations in Indonesia. Um, I would like to ask uh, Sidar, um, can you uh, speak about um, how it is for you to be an artist on a plantation? We know that you live in Lusanga. Lusanga was formerly called Lever.
Somerville. This is very much the same, uh, or is it the same as other plantations around the world? And is it possible to be an artist on a plantation like that? In general, can artists survive on plantations? We're doing the translation now. <laughs> mm, oui, uh, merci pour la question. Euh, qui est une bonne question aussi. Euh, être un artiste euh, dans la plantation, c'est être un artiste euh, tout simplement. C'est être un artiste, être un artiste, c est, c est, c est, ça se passe dans son esprit, dans l'engagement qu'on a envers son, son, son travail et on le porte dans son cœur, euh, peu importe l'endroit où on est, on l'aime, on, 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 on le poursuit jusqu'au bout. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, to be an artist on the plantation is to simply be an artist. And uh, the question is uh, individual. It's a question that uh, one artist asks himself in his spirit and in his heart. Mais il y a une, uh, grande, uh, un grand écart entre uh, ce que peut faire un artiste uh, uh, dans, du, dans, dans la ville euh, quelle que soit euh, la ville en Occident ou la ville euh, ici. Ça veut dire que euh, l'Afrique, euh, l'artiste euh, dans le milieu euh, euh, comme dans la plantation, il est démuni de, euh, de, de tout. Il n'a pas les outils, il n'a pas les, 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 les moyens pour euh, exercer ou pour euh, 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 matérialiser son, inspira son inspiration. Il n'a pas euh, les moyens, il n'a pas l'argent. Et, et, et il, est, il, est, il est préoccupé à, à, à nourrir son ventre chaque jour. Et ça, ça ne lui laisse pas le temps de pouvoir se concentrer à un travail euh, très euh, profond et un travail qui est de longue haleine. C'est juste ça. Mais euh, entre l'artiste de la plantation et l'artiste de la ville, euh, les, idées peuvent, euh, euh, les idées sont les mêmes et, et, et les talents peuvent, euh, peuvent être partout. OK. Uh... There is a difference between uh, uh, artists from the cities and uh, whether it's uh, cities in Congo or cities elsewhere in the world and uh, being in a place like Lusanga. Uh, artists uh, from the plantation are diminished. We have no tools and we have no means and uh, every day we need to find food. So it's hard to find time to concentrate uh, to, in order to make a profound artwork. Uh, and, uh, and we do have talents, but no time and no space uh, to do creative and uh, inspirational work. No, did you did you hear that? No, can you can you hear me? Okay, I I'll I'll just uh, I'll translate it for for Renzo. I, I'm not sure why. Um, Renzo asked on in Bottega in the in the plantation which uh, Renzo first went to and then was thrown out from. That's a still functioning plantation, and is it possible uh, that artists can? Um, survive or can work or even can exist maybe on such a plantation as, as Bottega. Seda. Uh, oui. Ouais. Euh, je pense que dans le cas de Bottega, euh, c'est un coin qui, comme plusieurs coins du Congo, qui, qui, qui est vraiment euh, dans une euh, euh, situation euh, difficile d'une pauvreté extrême encore plus dur que à Lusanga où nous sommes parce que à travers les films que nous pouvons voir 
c'est une situation qui, qui, qui est euh, très difficile, très difficile. Donc, euh, euh, les, les, les artistes euh, là-bas aussi, ou les, 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 les gens de plantation, ils sont aussi préoccupés à, à survivre, à, à survivre, euh, à, à gagner du, euh, leur, le, le pain pour eux, pour leurs enfants chaque jour. Ils sont un peu comme des, des, des machines, comme des, 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 des objets pour euh, euh, enrichir des, 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 à, à des milliers de kilomètres loin de chez eux. Rien ne revient là-bas, donc euh, toutes les conditions sont réunies pour qu'ils ne puissent pas, euh, euh, comment dire, se retrouver de leur travail. Et je ne, je ne souhaiterais pas être à leur place et j ai, j ai, j ai, dans mon cœur, je souhaite de tout mon cœur que leur situation change un jour. Okay. In Botecas case, like other places in DRC, uh, poverty is extreme. And uh, Botecas uh, is uh, in a situation that is worse than the one we have here. Artists uh, probably also try to survive and uh, to find bread each day for their children and family. They're like machines. And, uh, and like objects uh, that increase wealth uh, elsewhere in the world. I really wouldn't like uh, to be uh, in this uh, extreme poverty like the one that exists in Boteca. And I, and I really pray that uh, their situation will change soon. I mean, uh, the, you, you say, is there a danger? And uh, yes. of course, <laughs> that's a huge danger because most of the time these developments are actually monetarized and, and commodified for the benefit of people who already have the money. And in this case, of course, um, the, the, the imbalance between North and South is, is, is part of that, that whole system of, of uh, retaining the inequalities. So? Um, so yes, there's a danger. I think where, where I'm... I'm uh, encouraged, and it's something that I think about in relation to a modern art museum like Van Abbe, is that there is also underlying or, or, or perhaps the foundation in a way of questions of decolonization. In terms of museums and culture, there are questions of, of uh, restitution and reparation. Uh, and I think that this is, is the way to, to start a dialogue or a discourse or an argument about what it might mean to decolonize because decolonization or decolonial de de thinking if you like um, is actually a form of understanding what's going on it's also a call to action to some way but the action has to translate itself into some meaningful notion of restitution Uh, and that's particularly, of course, directed at, at, at other kinds of museums in a direct way. But I think we should also understand restitution in more complex ways. Like, is the restitution in the in the um, uh, culturally in the um, in the plantation something that actually you're doing? Is the restitution of dignity and of the possibility to work as an artist forms of restitution that we can also understand? It's not just about sending work that was once plundered and stolen um, and and return it. It's about the conditions in which it's returned, but also what does that restitution mean for? Uh, how do you fill that gap of 200 years? You know, the, things have moved on. In, in the places where, where much was stolen. And so when it's returned, it's returned into a different place, a different context. And that return needs to be negotiated. And you, know, you can think about many different forms of restitution. And then I think you have the idea of reparation, which comes from repair and maybe comes from, you know, relates perhaps to healing, you know, which is the wounds that 
the coloniality has caused. Yeah, that we, that people with our bodies have caused. And there's no getting away from the racism in this. Yeah? That, 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 that repair, reparation, healing needs also to take place. And that I, is, I do think that's something, the reparation and the healing is something which needs to be an exchange. I think, I think that's where the exchange between us, where your project, I think, is, 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 a, is an important example to, to, to think about because of Seat Epece and the fact that Seydar has been to Banaba Museum um, and the fact that you know, his work will hopefully come here as well and it will be on show. That that indeed it has been on show. Um, that that process is something that the reparation needs to be about exchange. And I think if we can exchange, then we do something. Little, I would like to press you a little bit more, Charles. Yeah. Um, for some reason. Oh no, we're oh. back. We're back. Can you ask okay. it again? Sorry, we're back. Yes. I, I want to press you a little bit more. I think there is a real risk. A, a, a gigantic risk that most of the benefits of museums starting to mount um, uh, exhibitions about uh, the history of slavery or um, uh, other subjects you know related to colonial history that in the end the benefits of these exhibitions accrue in, in and around the museum and for the people that visit the museum and that too few of these benefits go back to the plantations that uh, not only were plundered of their art, but also from which the capital was extracted to build those very museums. So I'm really asking, is there, what ways could there be um, for uh, museums to not only decolonize themselves, but also decolonize the economic structures that have allowed them to come into existence? Is there any way you can think of? Well, I mean, I think you're suggesting some way, no? Which is actually the, the fact that I am, uh, uh, you know, we're talking with Seda and that uh, people are, are, are coming to the, to the Van Aver Museum. It's clearly a sense in which some, some small, and it's a tiny amount, yeah, is being, is being returned or is being, is being exchanged, let's say. There's an exchange going on. Um, so that might indicate that, there's, that that's a form of reparation that you're setting up in a certain way, a form of repair. But I do think that without, without the, the, uh, within museums, yeah, decolonial thinking allows us to work out the, the, the ways in which we can plan for restitution and reparation. And without restitution and reparation, so you're asking if a slavery, if a museum does an exhibition about people who were enslaved, then if they're not also talking about restitution and reparation at the same time, and with equal vigor, uh, then, then you have to ask questions about them, and that, and that should be the lobby. You know, if the lobby was twenty years ago, can we talk with some honesty in the West about the consequences of colonialism and the relationship between colonialism and national socialism? Say, which we have all, in, to some extent, rejected in the sixties and seventies and eighties of the last century. Then, it, you know, the fight was to try and recognise that colonialism was part of that same system and therefore needed to be rejected. But now we're at the point where there is that, you know, decoloniality de is quite trendy at the moment. But unless it's associated with restitution and, rest and, and, and reparation, it's not going to mean very much, I would suggest. It's going to be what you say. Yes. So I would like to ask the very same question to Sedar. Um, so Sedar, do you think um, museums in, for example, the Netherlands, uh, you have indeed been to the Stedelijk Museum, you've been to the Van Abbe Museum when you were in Amsterdam, um, you've been to many other museums uh, also, um, but uh, do you think it's when these museums start to tell new stories about the history, about their own origins in a way, about uh, what art can mean for people, what the stories is of art, and if they call this decolonization, does it mean a lot to you, or what could it what could it what mind is needed to decolonize art? Ah. Hi. No, 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 it's all right because she's translating. But okay. I can. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Wait. La question, elle est assez uh, profonde et, et pertinente. Mais merci pour la question. Euh, elle mérite toute notre attention. 
Et la, la manière dont nous pensons ou, ou étudions sur la question dépend de euh, l'avenir de, 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 de notre monde. Euh, mais et, et dépend de comment nous discutons de cette question et comment nous la considérons. C'est bien euh, que le mot euh, restitution fasse les buzz, mais si ça ne soigne pas, comme dit Charles, euh, ça ne soigne pas euh, le, le, le passé des gens et ça ne soignera pas le futur des gens. Il faut que ça réconcilie, il faut que ça puisse amener les gens à, ensemble à se regarder en face et à ne pas se considérer comme euh, esclaves et, et dominés mais plutôt euh, d'égal à égal qui ont connu un différent avant et qui doivent trouver un compromis pour euh, avancer. Et la question des restitutions... Euh, désolé, je laisse le temps pour la traduction. Merci. C'est une question très profonde question à laquelle nous really devons vraiment être attentifs parce que le monde dépend de cette question. Our future depends on this question. It does need, uh, uh, we, we do need to take into serious consideration the world uh, restitution. And uh, because we don't want just to be slaves and uh, dominated to, to, to keep uh, playing that role. C'est vrai que le système est là, il a euh, soumis les gens, il, les a, euh, il, nous, il nous a mis, il, pour certains, dans une position de faiblesse et pour certains, des, des positions de force. Mais il y a beaucoup de gens qui n'ont pas choisi ça. Il n'y a, a, a pas de gens qui ont choisi d'être de naître euh, euh, africains et pauvres dans la plantation. Et contrairement aussi à l'inverse, il n'y a pas des de gens qui ont choisi de naître européens ou blancs. Ça se passe à une autre époque. Et aujourd'hui, on est à une autre époque et là, que, que, qui, 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 qui est au centre de nous tous, doit nous aider à nous mettre ensemble plutôt qu'à nous séparer. Et, et, et quand je rentre à la question des restitutions et, et la réparation, ce ne sont que des mots qu'on peut utiliser que par euh, Si on parle de réparation, on peut réparer que ce qu'on peut. On ne peut pas euh, recoller les, les, les mains des gens qui ont été coupés euh, pour le caoutchouc, par exemple. Um, the, the, the system, the system uh, dominated people and uh, they, it, the system put them either in a rich, in a wealthy position or in a position of uh, misery uh, in the plantation or, or elsewhere. We don't choose... Uh, uh, in what position we are born. Uh, so art should really bring us together. And uh, this word reparation and restitution is not enough. Continue. Oui, euh, le, le, la réparation est impossible. Euh, euh, la restitution aussi, entièrement, elle est impossible parce qu'il y a beaucoup d'objets qui sont perdus. Il y a de, beaucoup d'objets qui ne sont même pas identifiables ou, ou connaître l'origine et comment ça a été pris. Euh, donc, on ne peut le faire que par des bonnes intentions pour euh, justement soigner, comme dit, pour rejoindre à, à Charles, euh, si c'est dans des bonnes intentions, il faut le faire humblement et euh, que chaque partie euh, ait la bonne volonté d'aller vers l'autre afin de construire un, 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 un lendemain meilleur. Parce que nos enfants demain, ils sont confrontés à beaucoup plus que nous, il y a, il y a, il y a beaucoup, beaucoup plus en jeu pour demain et on a la responsabilité de leur léguer un monde sûr où les gens sont en train de se souder les coudes et non en train de se euh, 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 confisquer des choses. Euh, ce qui a été fait par le pillage, c'est une confiscation et la restitution telle qu'elle est entendue aujourd'hui par les musées qui veulent recevoir, c'est aussi une forme de confiscation. Donc on revient aux, à l'ancien système que nous déplorons et, et, et ça ne va pas construire un monde meilleur. Tous ces objets-là, ils vont servir à quoi si ça reste enfermé dans un musée. Pour la traduction. Eleanor. Ok. Uh, <laughs> um, repair, uh, a total repair is uh, impossible. Uh, we couldn't restitute 
everything that has been taken from us. So we do need uh, to heal humbly uh, what uh, the hurt that was done. Uh, and for that, we need to get together. Uh, it's important for our future and for our children. Uh, what was stolen from us, I don't think the solution is to uh, take it back. Um, uh, it, it's, it's not the, the only solution, because otherwise it would again uh, be imprisoned in a museum. On ne devrait pas emprisonner les objets. Les objets devraient circuler. Et ça, c'est une idée qu'on qu partage avec Mathieu et, et, et les amis et tous les amis au CATPC. Euh, les, les, les objets devraient circuler. Les objets, les objets devraient voyager, d'aller des musées en musée, euh, rencontrer toutes les cultures et que toutes les cultures puissent apprendre de ces objets et puissent euh, se, euh, se sentir concernées aussi par ces objets parce que c'est un héritage pour le monde de nos ancêtres sans différence de couleur et tous les peuples devraient se l'accaparer et, 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 et comme Picasso l'a fait avec les arts, les arts peindés euh, s'inspirer et pouvoir sentir que ce sont des choses qui appartiennent à l'humanité Ok um, Objects should circulate and uh, that's an idea that we share within the CATPC and they should encounter all cultures and be able to, to share their knowledge. Uh, uh, all people in the world should know about it. Uh, for example, uh, Picasso was very inspired by uh, Pende objects, and it inspired him, and it could inspire more people than Picasso. Uh, just to complete, at uh, 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 Washington, uh, we tried to find a sculpture uh, Pende, qui, était, euh, qui a voyagé, qui, qui continue à voyager. On l'a raté à Washington, on l'a raté en Virginia, euh, euh, parce qu'elle voyage. Si elle peut être à, à Washington, à Virginia et, et à, à Zurich, ça veut dire qu'elle peut aussi venir à Lusanga et, et continuer à, à aller et que ça ne soit pas quelque chose qui appartienne qu'à une seule personne ou à, à une communauté de gens privilégiés, mais que ça soit quelque chose où tout le monde peut lire l'histoire et euh, lire l'archive, comme disait euh, Charles tout à l'heure, ça j'aime beaucoup. Euh, on doit faire une relecture de des archives assez, afin de nous situer euh, au le présent pour euh, envisager un futur euh, 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 harmonieux pour tout le monde, pour toute l'humanité. Quand nous étions à Washington, nous avons essayé de trouver une sculpture de uh, Ballot who was a colonial uh, agent, uh, represents a colonial agent, and uh, was uh, uh, made by a Congolese artist, but uh, we, we missed it. Uh, this sculpture is traveling uh, in different cities right now. It's enough, unfortunate that uh, we couldn't find it. But if uh, these objects can travel, then... Uh, Uh, other objects could also travel, and um, and uh, uh, and if that uh, could be possible, then we would be able to share this archive uh, with everyone in the world, and that would be very important for future. Et soigner, ça pourrait aussi être uh, uh, redistribuer et les richesses entre it, tous. It could redistribu redistribute wealth between everyone. Et de cette manière-là seulement, euh, tout le monde se sera, euh, sentira impliqué et non exclu euh, de, ce, euh, de, ce grand, euh, de ce grand héritage dont nous sommes prêts à nous chamailler dessus aujourd'hui. So that way everybody could, uh, would be able to have access to this heritage that's being fight upon today. Et dans cette circulation d'objets entre les musées, et, euh, on, 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 on entend euh, une collaboration, une, un partenariat entre musées euh, de, du monde, de tous les quatre coins du monde, pour justement se compléter, s'aider à, à rééquilibrer. Euh, et et c'est ça une forme de réparation que je trouve euh, intéressante aujourd'hui. So if uh, the, the museum uh, could do uh, partnerships for these objects to travel, 
then uh, uh, it could uh, re-equilibrate things and uh, we could complete uh, each other in that knowledge. Merci. Yeah, thank you. Do you think, Merci. Charles, that if there are thematic exhibitions on um, uh, colonial history, on you know, it's, it's, uh, even about uh, demodernizing art and, and uh, uh, the roots of the museum in colonial history and overcoming those roots, do you think there is a way to make sure that financial benefits of such exhibitions would go back to people living on plantations? <laughs> thématique sur la colonisation, que les bénéfices pourraient euh, revenir sur la plantation de ces expositions euh, euh, Non, c'est à Charles. Ah, Charles. C'est pour moi, non C'est pour Charles, mais je pense que c'est bon si Cédar répond aussi. C'est une question pour vous. Ok. Je vais commencer et puis Cédar va continuer Parce que, je pense, une chose juste à dire, je pense que Cédar a fait un point très important ici, et c'est un point que nous devons peut-être we need we need to to in, in Dutch you say stand still for a moment and understand because I think a lot of the this debate around restitution is still being carried out within centers of uh, within the Western museums about whether things should be banned or not and obviously in recently in the Netherlands we have a policy where if people ask for the objects back then they will be returned in principle so the, the request comes from from uh, from the countries of origin. Um, but nevertheless, I think a lot of the debate about what it means to, 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 to um, uh, uh, return works that were stolen um, is, is largely conducted within, within the, the, the Western field. And I think that's one of the examples of where decolonial thinking helps us to understand what restitution might mean. Because one of the tenets, I suppose, of, 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 a, of a decolonial approach would be to understand that people and their voices have been erased and have been silenced through the processes of col col colonialism. People were always capable of speaking, were always capable of, of understanding what was going on, but they weren't able to, um, they weren't able to uh, voice those opinions to the colonial authorities, to the power. And so we need to listen to what Seda is saying and, and allow that to change our understanding of what restitution and reparation might be. Yeah. Yeah, I, think I agree, but there is also the issue of the wealth redistribution. A lot was stolen from plantations, uh, both, of course, the, the, all the, 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 the agricultural produce, the palm oil, the, uh, the labor, the land, uh, and, of course, the art. All of this, there's a matrix of theft, if you will. And I'm wondering, again, I, I, I'll, I'll repeat the question. Mm -hmm. if, a museum uh, builds an exhibition, mounts an exhibition on these histories, or even on the future, would there be a way to make sure that the benefits of this exhibition, and here I'm talking about money, finances, mm -hmm. would be shared with people living on plantations here and now? I mean, I mean, I think, I mean, and of course, of course, there would be a way in a sort of in a sort of closed economy where we were just talking about the, the art economy. We could, you know, I'm sure there are devices that could be used in which some of that money would return. Absolutely. But I do think that your question uh, uh, necessarily uh, asks what kinds of economic uh, uh, restitution, economic uh, um, re redivision of the spoils of a colonial system that's 500 years old to what ex to what extent that can happen uh, within the art world without happening out with the art world so in the in the rest of our uh, global economy i'm not so sure to be honest i mean i think you know my answer would to you, to you would be that we need to have a global universal basic income that that would be and, and a global universal basic income would be a way in which this redistribution of wealth could could take place and within that i think we could do uh, you know quite uh, important and amazing things within our cultural field but i'm not sure that we can really act in a meaningful way without that change i think we're there to try and provoke that change but we also need that change in order to really properly answer your question and and i hope you know what we're doing here is is contributing to making that change more likely rather than less likely Right. Uh, Sina, uh, do you think that if um, museums in, in global cities, um, if they um, exhibit um, ideas, art on colonial history and on the way forward, uh, do you think a part of 
the, the, the benefits of these exhibitions should go back to people living on plantations here and now? And in what way could that be done? Déjà, euh, exploiter euh, des sujets qui parlent, euh, qui sont concernés sur la, colonis la colonisation et, euh, et tout ça là, euh, ne concerne pas seulement euh, les gens qui regardent en Occident, mais aussi les gens qui ont été colonisés et qui continuent à subir les conséquences jusqu'à aujourd'hui, euh, là où ils sont dans leur vie, dans leur... Euh, dans leur, dans leur vie de chaque jour. Et euh, euh, l'idée de, 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 de redistribuer, justement, euh, euh, même si ça ne sera jamais atteint à, à, à la perfection, mais au moins l'intention de redistribuer devrait commencer par les gens de bonne volonté, les gens qui sont animés d'un esprit euh, de changement comme nous, euh, déjà pour pouvoir amener les débats, euh, orienter les débats euh, vers, euh, envers tous, pour pouvoir amener justement cette conscience globale qui amène les gens à une information de la vraie situation comme elle est et aussi à amener à, à ces désirs de, de réparer partiellement, comme on disait. Et, et l'une des réparations partielles aussi serait cette, euh, 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 cette proposition euh, de, 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 de rééquilibrer ou d'aller de, 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 vers l'autre, donc de, 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 de reconnaître la, 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 la richesse qui est et d'accepter de la, la partager avec tous, avec euh, les gens qui sont dans, dans les besoins. First of all, uh, to exploit colonial history, uh, uh, of course, doesn't concern only people in the Western world, and uh, it concerns us directly on uh, plantations. So uh, the good intention uh, of uh, restitution and reparation uh, should start with people indeed who are ready to debate about it. And that's what we are doing. And then this uh, would lead us to uh, repair, repair and learn uh, Uh, partially uh, about uh, what has happened. So uh, I think it's a good moment to start uh, uh, for people to join together and, uh, and, uh, and find uh, the beginning of solutions. Et on, on pense aussi que uh, uh, rien ne devrait être pris de force comme c'était dans le passé. Tout devrait se faire dans une euh, cohabitation, dans un euh, dans, dans une esprit de réconciliation et dans un esprit de partage. Et l'intention ne devrait pas euh, euh, venir des de, 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 de gens des plantations. La bonne intention devrait être, venir par la, 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 la prise de conscience à travers tout ces, ces, toutes ces informations que justement notre travail et le travail de beaucoup d'autres artistes essaient de mettre à nu. Mais tant que cette, cette critique reste dans les musées enfermés pour une, euh, un, un, un petit, euh, une minorité privilégiée, ça reste stérile, ça n'a pas de, 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 de conséquences euh, réelles ou de retour euh, ou d'impact sur là où tout a, été, tout a commencé. Donc l'idée de, 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 de partager un peu avec ceux qui sont aussi concernés, ce serait une idée, mais euh, toujours dans un esprit de réconciliation et de paix. Okay. Nothing should be taken by force. Uh, the idea of reconciliation and, uh, and sharing is a good intention, but for that, uh, consciousness to, needs to be, uh, uh, needs to arise. And uh, uh, the critique uh, within minorities and, uh, and between uh, Museum is not enough to have uh, an impact. Parce que l'art, l'art devrait, euh, euh, en tout cas nous pensons humblement que l'art devrait plutôt euh, jouer un rôle central dans la vie des, des gens, des communautés euh, entre différentes couleurs. Et, et l'art devrait permettre les gens de se réunir au lieu de les séparer, de les, les éloigner. Et, 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 et cette direction n'est possible que si les gens sont ensemble, 
s'il y a un passé qui est réconcilié et s'il y a un esprit de partage aussi. So art should play a central role everywhere and uh, reunite and uh, bring people together and uh, not take people uh, apart and that's the spirit that uh, we have to work on. Uh, Renzo, there's a few questions from the public as well that I have, so um, yes. bring them in. Bring me in when 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 you want, because I think there's uh, things. I can't see the questions and I can't no. hear them. But, um, I, I I have them here, so I can uh, I can I can join you in moderating when we go over to the the questions if you like. But maybe you have okay. something. Uh, there's one more thing I wanted to press in in, in what's, what I heard Cedar say. Um, but I, I think it was a little bit lost in the translation. Uh, I, I think I heard Siddharth say that it is so important to have art, indeed to reconcile, to bring peace, uh, that it cannot stay only in those museums for the privileged people who can go to those museums. Did I hear that right in French, uh, Eleonore and Siddharth? We didn't hear you very well. Uh. I think something that um, Sedar said was that he felt <laughs> that the people, um, that, that it's very important to bring peace and to reconcile and that art is a great way to do that, but that this process of peace and reconciliation of colonial history cannot only take place in, in museums where people have access to museums, but that it, it also concerns people in the south, for example, on plantations, they also need reconciliation, obviously, but they don't happen to have those museums to do it with. I, I think I heard something like that. Is it something you could comment on, uh, Cédar? Okay, you need to... Euh, c'est une grande mission. Elle est quasiment impossible si on la, la, on la regarde d'une manière simple. Euh, tous devraient être impliqués. Il euh, n'y a que maintenant que nous commençons à avoir euh, des musées en Afrique, c'est vrai. Et sans l'aide les, les, des musées euh, qui existent déjà depuis longtemps et qui connaissent bien comment ça fonctionne, euh, les musées n'auront aucune chance. Les nouveaux musées africains et, qui veulent la restitution n'auront qu'une chance de pouvoir s'en D'où l'idée de s'appuyer aussi sur les, les, les anciens musées dans un esprit de, de, de collaboration et, et de complémentarité. Et ce n'est que comme ça, avec la visibilité qu'a tous ces grands musées dans le monde, qu'on pourra, avec la force de l'art, répandre le message, inclure tout le monde dans ces discussions et faire que cette discussion soit intéressante pour tout le monde. Euh, et, et que tout le monde puisse contribuer aussi avec les idées. Les idées ne viendront pas seulement que, euh, de Lusanga ou euh, de, 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 de New York, par exemple, mais ça peut venir d'un endroit où on ne s'imagine même pas. Peut-être que les bonnes idées viendront d'une plantation isolée euh, à Boteca, par exemple. Et, et donc, on devrait plutôt encourager les discussions, les réflexions, et ça doit continuer, ça doit euh, euh, continuer à réfléchir entre toutes les personnes, tous ces musées et aussi toutes les institutions, le, 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 le monde de, de l'art, les institutions financières seront touchées à travers ces discussions et ce n'est que comme ça, les, euh, on pourra se mettre à réfléchir à comment euh, euh, rééquilibrer euh, les, 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 les écarts qu'il y a jusque-là, à soigner. Okay. Hello, no. well. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, again, uh, reconciliation is almost an impossible mission. And uh, yes, everybody should uh, get uh, involved in that uh, question. And uh, of course, if we don't have new museums uh, in Africa, uh, then uh, we won't be able to succeed if uh, only this question is addressed uh, throughout museum in the Western world. So it has, in effect, to be inclusive for everybody everywhere, uh, even from Boteca, from ex for example. So, but it should also touch all financial institutions, not only museums. 
so we can uh, really think uh, together. I think that comes back to the idea of the basic income indeed the finances uh, are important. Okay, let's move to the questions of the audience. Yes, uh, there's a number. Of, so thank you, and if people want to post any questions, now is the, now is the time. Um, Maybe I'll, I'll start with a simple one because we were talking about, about payment. One person said Van Abba can begin by paying Lusanga artists if they exhibit their works in an Eindhoven uh, as the beginning of a movement. And what Renzo is asking is simple, give the benefit back. I think I would agree with that. I mean, partly Renzo's project, which is maybe not quite so clear in the, in the film, although I think it comes across, is that the works are sold, then the money goes back into the post-plantation, into, into, uh, uh, into Lusanga. And also, if artists um, were shown here uh, uh, from Sayate Pese, they would have the same payment as any artist that's shown in the museum, which is actually fixed, not the, by us, but by the Mondrian uh, Foundation. Um, and that payment would be, would would go without a question so so those are true but they're not enough you know they're they're necessary but not uh, sufficient conditions i think that would that would be my answer just to quickly answer one of the questions but maybe Ren yeah, sorry renzo yeah i think it's a great question i think um a few museums in the netherlands including including the Stalin museum has recent have recently said that they want to spend a big part of their acquisition budget uh, on the art of uh, black artists or artists of color, uh, which is fantastic, of course, and long overdue. Uh, but I think all of these museums should also specifically um, try uh, to acquire um, uh, works from the plantations from which the capital was extracted. Um, we're also talking about the very buildings. I mean, this is what Charles mentioned in the beginning. And I think it would be so interesting if those museums would not only investigate themselves, but uh, also uh, ask people still living on plantations to investigate the museums, buy their work and then send the money back and then they can do whatever they feel is necessary with that money. So I think that would be a good idea. I think it's also nice if Sedar can answer to that question. Um, could, could you repeat it, Charles, for Sedar? Um, yes, it, it says uh, uh, um, that Banaba should pay the artist from Lusanga, and that's a simple way of giving benefits back. Sit there. Je n'ai pas trop bien compris la question. It's okay, he's, he's translating at the moment, and then, yeah, go. Uh, uh, pour, pour répondre à la question, déjà, nous, nous, nous avons fait uh, du, uh, du travail depuis 2014 à, à, à exposer des, dans, des, dans, dans des galeries, des musées, des white cubes, uh, par-ci, par-là, à travers le monde, et les revenus sont revenus à Lusanga, Et, et nous ont permis euh, d'avoir déjà notre propre terre et décider de, de ce qu'on fait de notre terre. Euh, ça, c'est bien, c'est très chouette pour nous. Et, et, et avec les mêmes revenus, on a, ça nous a permis de lancer notre propre plantation, une plantation qui s'écarte de la monoculture qui a détruit et appauvri nos terres. On a fait une plantation polyculture avec tous les arbres, avec les médicaments qu'on a besoin naturels, avec la nourriture. Et c'est sûr qu'on devra attendre pour atteindre, atteindre notre, notre objectif, mais euh, à petit, petit à petit, on est en train de, 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 de goûter à notre fruit. Et, et oui, c'est vrai que euh, les rendements d'une un, exposition ne peuvent pas changer la vie des, des gens, mais euh, la présence déjà des gens de plantation dans les musées, c'est un grand pas. Dans les Y cubes, la présence des gens de plantation, c'est un grand pas. Et, et nous, on veut qu'il y ait encore beaucoup plus de gens de plantation présents dans les Y cubes. Ce n'est que dans cette direction-là, peut-être que ça prend 10 ans, 20 ans, 30 ans, un siècle, on ne sait pas, que euh, ça pourra changer. Et on ne doit pas se décourager avec les faibles euh, euh, comment dire, réalisations d'aujourd'hui. On doit tout continuer à y croire et on doit continuer à s'investir. Et ceux qui sont euh, dans la bonne foi d'accompagner de, 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 les, les, les gens des plantations et les gens des plantations eux-mêmes qui doivent prendre leur destin en main, essayer de... de, 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 de De, 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 de prendre leur vie en main quoi, de prendre nos vies en main. 
Hmm. Antuka kita kita kontak. Donc um, we have been uh, doing exhibitions in galleries, in white cubes, in museums since uh, 2014. And uh, works or artworks that have been uh, sold, uh, the benefits of it have come back here and enable us to buy land and make our own plantation. And, uh, and the, the good thing about it is that Uh, we were able to decide and we will be able to decide to do what we want with this land. And one of the things we decide for our plantation is not to do uh, monoculture, uh, to plant a lot of different trees, uh, to plant medicinal plants, uh, so we can gain uh, a, a form of autonomy. So... Um, The, 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 the presence uh, of people uh, in the art world uh, from the plantation is a huge step. Uh, of course, it might take a century to fully change things, but uh, we uh, shouldn't uh, be discouraged uh, that it takes time. Uh, we really need to believe in it. And uh, we need to, to start to control our destiny and to control our lives. Ah, thank you. I have, uh, I have another question here that... that uh, oh, um, does Mathieu want to say something? Does he... Does, would he like... Oui, je peux compléter des phrases. Oui, vas-y. Oui. Qui sait, aujourd'hui... Tout change avec le temps, hein? tout change avec le temps. Et nous, en plus, nous, on est une nouvelle génération. Nous, on oublie tous les conflits là. En plus, vous comprenez, vous, vous pouvez comprendre aussi que le temps, il y a un grand tout qui trouvait des gens pendant, pendant l'époque qui passait. Nous, on est et dans l'époque pour réparer petit à petit avec tous les bénéfices que nous, on est recevoir, donc on peut organiser aussi à ça. En plus, et on ne peut pas croiser les mains, on peut continuer petit à petit, juste pour compléter. Ouais. So today, everything changes with time. We are the new generation and uh, we kind of forgot this conflict. Uh, but it left a big, huge hole. Uh, so uh, we can start to repair with all the, the benefits, but it will take time. Thank you. Et oui, donc. <laughs> oh, oui, et je voulais compléter. And, and just, sorry, I forgot to say something uh, Mathieu said, uh, but uh, we, we are continuing uh, hard work Uh, we are continuing hard work towards uh, that direction. Et, et juste pour compléter, euh, l'homme de plantation, euh, l'enfant de la plantation que nous représentons avec Mathieu, n'a pas besoin de, 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 de beaucoup, 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 beaucoup pour euh, être mieux. Et il a juste besoin euh, d'avoir de, 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 sa, sa, sa dignité et de pouvoir se sentir humain. Et ce n'est pas dans un but de s'enrichir encore et encore et encore. Avoir notre terre, c'est beaucoup. Euh, et pouvoir euh, euh, se sentir euh, 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 en train de contrôler notre destin, ça aussi, c'est mieux aussi. Et, et n'empêche que s'il si y a deux, trois expos ailleurs que nous, nous, nous mettons nos sculptures ou notre, nos films ou bien nos, 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 notre art et que ça rapporte, euh, plus petit que ce soit les revenus, on les partage toujours. On, euh, on les partage toujours et on fait toujours un projet en, co en commun. Ok. So, we are children of the plantation and uh, we don't need much to feel better. Uh, what we need also is to feel our dignity, to feel humans and uh, the fact uh, to be able to control our land and our destiny 
is important. Even if we have two or three exhibitions, is good because we do share the benefits and do uh, community projects with it. Thank you, and and it's uh, it's lovely to see Mathieu again. I didn't know he was coming, so it's very uh, very nice. Uh, bonsoir, Mathieu. <laughs> um, I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to say, uh, I, we have really time for one or two more questions. I'm going to ask one uh, uh, here from uh, Inge Nabos, who's, who's, who's asked a number of questions, but this one I'll pick out, um, which he says that the benefits of art being monetized sounds like a neoliberal idea. It's maybe more for Renzo here. The benefit of art is an update of mental constructions. How does this work change, change the mental constructions? Or does it strengthen the colonial constructions? What do you think between this about? So maybe it's on the monetary side and to answer power to change our imagination, I suppose, in traditionally understood. Yeah, I'll gladly answer, but I'm, I'm sure that uh, Mathieu and Cedar can also re-answer it uh, well. Um, and I think it's a very good question. The question is focusing on the financial aspect. I think it's a very good question. The question is focusing on the financial aspects of art is a neoliberal how it can be monetized is a neoliberal idea it's a capitalist idea and shouldn't we in fact get away from that and um, uh, you know overcome capitalism if you will uh, um, um, I completely agree I completely agree um, but I happen to know that quite a lot of people need money to uh, eat um, and um, make $18 a month, it's not enough. You can't eat. Uh, so then all of a sudden money becomes really important. So that's that's really what I think. Um, it is easy, relatively easy, to say that we should get beyond um, the capitalist logic if you have enough to eat. Um, if you have too little to eat, you also want to move beyond the capitalist logic for sure. But you'll need something to eat while doing that. Um, and I think, therefore, in the meantime, it would be good to share uh, the benefits of uh, art, of everything. We're artists, curators, thinkers about art. I think it's imperative that we sh share the benefits of art. But I, I would like to give or forward a question to, to Sedan and, and Mathieu and yeah. Eleonore. Um, Eleonore, did you get the question? No. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yes, if, uh, if I understand, uh, is sh can art be something else than the money monetization uh, of it, uh, oh, which is part of the mental construction of capitalism. Yeah, it's, a it's the Renzo is putting the emphasis on, on money being exchanged. And the question was, is an art a, a, another kind of exchange, in a way, of, of mental constructions and not so much financial uh, uh, goods? So shouldn't he concentrate, I suppose, we're saying on the mental, mental condition of the art more than the financial condition? And, and that's maybe uh, to, to, to Sedar and to Mathieu, it's, it's how do you see art? Do you see it as a way of making money or do you see it as something that can change people's understanding of Lusanga and of, of your situation and of your history? Mm. Merci pour la question. Uh, déjà, quand on, a, uh, uh, quand on a parlé de uh, comment résoudre le mot, on voit comment nous, on, on, on veut utiliser l'art pour euh, amener à des grands buts comme la réconciliation et la paix. Euh, C'est très loin de, de gagner l'argent parce qu'il y a beaucoup de gens qui s'attendent à la restitution des objets pour les revendre à des collectionnaires qui sont prêts à, à mettre un grand paquet de millions, des milliards de dollars sur ces objets. Donc, euh, et nous nous, nous, nous ne sommes pas du tout dans cette logique-là. Nous, on a utilisé euh, euh, l'art comme il a été utilisé dans l'ancien pour détruire nos terres, et nous on les utilise pour restaurer nos terres, pour récupérer nos terres. Et une fois que ces injustices sont effacées, oui, comme à l'époque de nos ancêtres, l'art n'était pas vendu, ce n'était pas un usage euh, commercial. On pourrait revenir à ces systèmes-là. Si les, les richesses sont redistribuées, 
Et, et s'il n'y a plus de gens qui ont faim dans les plantations, oui, on pourrait revenir à ce système-là. Si les, le système capitaliste est prêt à, à, à distribuer, à, 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 à partager aussi un peu, oui. Mais sinon, le les quart est encore euh, creux. Et c'est le monde, justement, capitaliste qui a créé cette situation. Et nous, on retrouve juste cette situation à notre avantage et, 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 et aussi se sentir euh, digne et humain. Et donc, voilà, euh, on a ce désir-là que l'art ne soit pas vendu, d'où l'idée de, 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 de faire circuler dans le monde et de les montrer à toutes les cultures, et notamment les cultures qui ont euh, œuvré pour que ces objets existent aujourd'hui, donc qu'elles soient entre toutes les couleurs du monde et non pas confisquées dans, dans des endroits euh, pour privilégier. Euh... Oh non. <rire> euh... The problem with... Uh... Sorry, Renzo, I'm going to synthesize a little bit. Uh, but the problem with uh, restitution is that uh, if... Uh... Um, art would be restitute, uh, people could sell it again. So, um, uh, go back to a more uh, ancestral uh, vision of art uh, and the system uh, of art such as it was uh, in a pre-colonial era. But uh, uh, if we are hungry, that is not possible. So for the moment, and uh, right now, we are caught into that system. Um, and that's why we propose the uh, idea of art uh, circulating, uh, which would be uh, the way of uh, exchange. But... Um, Quoi, quoi, à part ça. Oui, bon. d'accord. Euh, par rapport à, à, à ce que pourrait être là, pour nous, pour moi, c'est là, euh, je crois que là, ça devrait être des idées qui changent le monde, des idées qui changent, euh, qui, qui amènent des vrais changements dans le monde, des idées mises en pratique, des idées qui... qui, 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 qui qui, qui, qui n'embellissent pas seulement, qui ne servent pas qu'à embellir la vie, mais aussi qui sont ancrés dans le mœurs de la vie, qui font partie de la vie justement et qui aident à ce que la vie soit, euh, soit euh, vivable. Euh, et les, 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 les objets comme ils étaient utilisés par nos anciens, c'était des objets qui étaient ancrés dans les coutumes des, des gens. Je parle par exemple des masques. Les masques pendés, c'est des... Des, des, des objets pour des rituels, pour des, des, des cérémonies, pour euh, euh, des, des, des fêtes. Et, 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 et là, ils sont dans des, dans, dans des vitres enfermées, euh, comme dans des prisons, et, et, et comme des objets qui sont sans vie. Donc voilà. Et, 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 et cette époque-là, elle, elle, est, elle est passée. Et nous, on a perdu toutes les traces de, de cette époque-là et de comment les ancêtres les utilisaient. Tout ce qu'on a hérité, c'est ce que la colonisation nous a appris. On a aussi cette responsabilité ou cette euh, prise de conscience de vouloir renouer avec l'art euh, comme le considéraient nos anciens. Mais cela demande à avoir le ventre plein avant de penser à ça. Cela demande à vivre euh, euh, dignement pour pouvoir euh, faire tous ces cheminements-là. Pour moi, uh, c'est d'art. Uh, art should be uh, an idea or ideas that change the world. Ideas that are practical, that are anchored uh, into life and make life livable. Uh, for example, uh, our uh, pende mask uh, from our region uh, were used for rituals and uh, ceremonies. And uh, now they are imprisoned uh, in, in museums, they are, they are in jails. So, but that is uh, this, this, uh, the ancestral uh, art uh, is the past and uh, we lost that. Uh, colonization uh, made us lose that. And of course, we would like to uh, understand uh, uh, better uh, how it worked and uh, gather 
pieces on a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a new process of that. Et si on exclut l'idée de, de faire, d'essayer de, de ramener les capitaux à Lusanga à travers l'art, euh, ça veut dire que euh, euh, on n'a on, on on, on pas droit au rêve comme euh, ceux que la plantation a, a, a financé ou a, a aidé à améliorer les conditions de vie. Sans euh, euh, cette euh, démarche-là, on n'aurait pas un, un, un Y-Cube à nous, à Lusanga. Et, et ce Y-Cube-là, il, il, il vient... Euh, 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 il vient en retour. Il était parti de Lusanga sous une forme euh, d'argent de, de, et il revient à Lusanga euh, avec tous les, les efforts des gens des plantations réunis pour le ramener. Et cela ne passe euh, par un, aucun autre chemin que, que l'argent. Et du coup, après toute la période de, de la colonisation qui a, qui a euh, profité de, justement de ces systèmes du monde de l'art, et qui s'est euh, euh, enrichi en, en, encore et encore et encore. Et aujourd'hui, euh, cette euh, injustice est en train de faire un, un peu à l'inverse, euh, que les gens des plantations aussi puissent un peu profiter. Voilà. Désolé. <rire> Not sure. Um, if, if we exclude art uh, capital uh, from Lusanga, Uh, then uh, we cannot continue to, to dream uh, and uh, the white cube and the repatriation of the white cube is part of uh, this dream that uh, we need. Uh, it left and now it's returning and it's returning also in the form of money. And, uh, and it's, it, it, it's a big injustice that uh, plantations made so much profits And that uh, we were left uh, with nothing. Et, comme disait Mathieu, euh, 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 aujourd'hui rien n'est possible sans l'argent. Et, et ce système, c'est le même système capitaliste qui, 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 qui l'a qui l'a installé à l'époque. So nothing is possible without money, and it's the capitalist system that uh, installed that. À l'époque de nos anciens, ils a, ils ils avaient pas besoin de vendre leur art parce qu'ils vivaient aussi. Euh, simplement, ils avaient la cueillette, ils avaient leur chasse, ils avaient un autre style de vie. Aujourd'hui, ce style de vie a été remplacé par celui qu'on connaît aujourd'hui et qui so, tient les ah, mm -hmm. et qui et qui est un peu influencé par euh, ce monde déjà enrichi et qui continue mm -hmm. à attirer les, les ficelles jusque dans la plantation. So our, our ancestors didn't need to to sell art, uh, also because they had an entire Uh, life system, uh, organization of life system. So uh, now we inherited uh, the capitalist system way of life. So uh, we can break apart from that. And uh, so that's why we do need uh, benefits in order to, to, to dream. Donc en gros, nous sommes pris aussi comme tout le monde dans ce même système. Et le seul moyen, c'est aussi avoir euh, un peu de, de capital à nous pour euh, pouvoir changer notre situation. So if we want to change the, the situation, we do need money because uh, we are also caught in this system whether we want it or not. Merci. Thank you. I think, uh, uh, Renzo, I think we should uh, close up because we have a curfew here at 10 o'clock and, and my colleagues and I, we have to get home so because we, we can't be on the street after 10 o'clock. So, um, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think I think to, to define it as money and dreams, <laughs> those are the two uh, two things that uh, that uh, to some extent we all need, but are needed uh, in in Congo perhaps uh, or out there. There is less of both in Congo than there is in many places, and maybe an equality of dreams as well as an equality of money uh, answers the question a little bit. It's not one or the other; it's the two. So um, I, I, I'll leave the last word to you, Renzo, uh, um, uh, but just to say thank you very much to all the uh, people who stayed with us uh, this, this last uh, almost three hours. And, uh, and um, it's wonderful to see you all in, in Lusanga. And, uh, and I hope we see each other in, uh, in three dimensions very soon. So thank you, Charles. Um, uh, merci beaucoup. Uh,
Peter, Mathieu, et Eleanor, thank you so much. Um, uh, um, I'm so glad that we do this. I think um, it's important for the audience maybe to know that this is part of a series of debates. Uh, it was a strange one because uh, I do it through WhatsApp and what have you, but um, uh, it's still part of the debates. This is the new world. Um, but what is more important is that uh, Mathieu, Sedan, and uh, Eleonore are partaking in those debates from a place that until recently was never part of those debates. Um, of course, there are many great Congolese artists who are, uh, you know, have uh, big visibility, but um, uh, people from plantations um, were not so much part of the art world uh, so far. And I think this is a very, as uh, Seda said, a very, very small step to try and uh, yeah, reorganize that. Uh, so very happy that this happens. There's a series of debates. There's going to be one in Jakarta still. There's one in, um, in uh, Tamale in Ghana. Uh, upcoming, and all of these debates have the white cube in Lusanga with Sedar Mathieu and their colleagues at the center of them. Um, also, uh, the film can be seen online. There's a link, I think, also on the on our website. And so far, through these debates and people watching them, uh, Seat de PC has again uh, uh, gotten enough money to buy another five hectares of land simply because we talk about it. Uh, they can buy back land and turn it into these inclusive and egalitarian post plantations. So, talking is useful. Um, thank you so much, Cédar, Mathieu, Eleonore, uh, and Charles. Thank you. Over and